We're showing Pitchfork. Pitchfork Hardy. Pitchfork <laughs> needs to review this tonight. If I don't see a fucking 10 on this shit. <laughs> I listen to our record on planes too, and like totally. not not all the time. I think it's because like being on a plane is like a death flavored experience, and so <laughs> I'm like I want to interact with what I'm leaving behind. <laughs> so I'm like I can stand by this. Why do you keep <laughs> doing this to me? I was gonna say I didn't say anything wrong. Let's just no. <laughs> exactly. Didn't you also say you listened to the Ethel Kane album? On oh, the plane? I did. I listened oh, to the. I'm just like really airport. emotional on planes. Everybody is. It's something about the air and the the death. <laughs> but um, <laughs> <laughs> the death of <laughs> <laughs> the experience. I I give myself the gift of listening to my voice notes. I don't listen to my voice notes or my ideas really in any other context other than on airplanes. So even if I'm not, a, it's funny because it, it used to be just like plain Wi-Fi sucks and I don't even want to engage with it. So I'm just on my phone as this thing that has all my ideas on it mm -hmm. in, in the only time in my life and I'm on planes so much that it, it works somehow creatively yeah. for me. But even if I'm on the ground and I have data, I have started the process of mm, listening to all my shit and, and labeling all my voice notes. Yeah. I, I use that for like my, re my music research. Mm. When somebody's like, this yeah. is a really great record, I take it offline because the, and then I'm like, oh wow, I've never listened start to finish through this new f uh, Fortet collab record. And then I give, I give myself the gift of yeah. being like, fully tuned to it or like so, yeah the other day i was driving in the rain this is doing this way the opposite but i was driving in the rain at like six in the morning and it was like all misty in the middle of nowhere in tennessee and it was like mary Lattimore harp and i was like i'm in a movie favorite <laughs> ever shit <laughs> I'm in a, love to curate my music like i'm in a movie about my life i went to five proms so i should have more answers for this yeah yeah yes a lot of local bands, like Richmond local bands in high school. I skipped prom. I was like, I can't be bothered with that. So I'm like, what would I? What was my like hype music when I was a senior? But then I'm like, it's either gonna be Color Revolt or it's gonna be the like, um, like Thank Me Later. Uh, used to get hype on the way to school to Handlebars by Flowbots. Oh, that song course. goes off so hard at the end. <laughs> Me and my best friend Haley Doll pulled up beside the yacht where senior prom was happening and played Freebird out of her boyfriend, her high school boyfriend's truck uh, and like interpretive danced to Freebird. Um, and the whole side of the yacht, just like everybody's like watching us do that. Um, the entirety of Freebird. That's some Manic Pixie Dream Girl shit. <laughs> Deeply, yeah, the, the movie. I remember being like, this is as good as the memory is going to be in this moment. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 99% invisible. Podcast for chores. Podcast for chores. Mm. I've been listening to the new Caroline Polchek a lot while doing chores because I can just like bounce around. The new scissor record? Mm hmm. Same. It's so easy to just like also be by myself in my house cleaning and be like fake being singing like I sing like that. That's I know. Nice. <laughs> Do you ever, ha are you ever filming a, a, like on your phone side stage? It's especially quiet where you are, but to your phone. So your phone's mm -hmm. hearing you the loudest <laughs> and then you play the video later mm -hmm. and it's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> like, like, use, That's uh, like does the, the music cool. ever- With my like, hands on, like cleaning. Or your off. Sonos. I've done that at out. your shows. I've been like yes. singing along and just like, <laughs> I will give you the <laughs> When am I ever doing that? I'm, I'm gonna give the three-headed monster answer, which is sold out by Hardy. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Or I ain't in the country no more. Or truck bed. I listened to that record. Or yeah. he went to Jared. <laughs> or radio song, which is my new favorite. Or Boots. Oh my God, featuring Jeremy McKinnon. I was like, did this motherfucker really? We love Hardy. We love Hardy. We saw Hardy in LA recently 
and I lost brain cells. Yeah. <laughs> Doing that. <laughs> yeah. um. The songwriting is excellent. It's funny, it's concise, it's like visual, um, it's gutsy. Musically complex. It's musically complex. He's like playing with tropes. That's the thing too, it feels way. precise. It feels like he's like, he understands the assignment enough to make a variation on a theme that is different enough and yet self-aware to adhere to the conventions of the genre and then like put it on top of new metal and it scratches a really tiny Venn diagram place in my brain that not a lot of things do. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's the only thing I think that scratches that itch hardy. There's more yeah, of it there's and it's not like it. there's, there's more people like trying it. to do it and it's not good. It's the right intersection of character and genuine. Yes. It's like um, it's a caricature of what a real person is. You know It also I mean? feels wrong that we're talking this much about it. Like <laughs> the, like intellectualizing hardy is wrong. Is it? But it's but it's possible. It's just wrong. Like you can just enjoy that shit. I know no. I'm gonna listen to it after this. Yeah. <laughs> because I have to cleanse my brain. Have you guys heard this? Yeah. All right.